there is a great disparity among the nations of the world when it comes to health care. In comparison to the Western nations, Ghana has four doctors to 100,000 people, whilst there are 319 doctors per 100,000 in Germany, for instance. And especially for orthopedic care, about two thirds of the world's six million people lack access to orthopedic and radiologic services. This burden of musculoskeletal disease stems from lack of adequate facilities and resources. Predominant conditions include traumatic injuries, congenital deformities such as clubfoot, spine and many other infections such as TB, polio, arthritis of the joints. They are rare and neglected conditions that will tax even the most experienced orthopedic minds in the industrial world with the most advanced resources and diagnostic facilities. The young and the old are equally affected and some are ostracized and left to fend for themselves in the streets on makeshift mobile devices. There is a paucity of emergency services and spine injuries can lead to a permanent neurologic deficit. This family is helpless to manage a neck injury of a loved one who was brought to us in a makeshift ambulance in a quadriplegic state. Focus has made a world of difference in the lives of many Africans and patients from other nations outside Africa. Lives have been transformed with our surgical intervention programs. The patient care objectives of FOCUS covers a wide range of orthopedic conditions including clubfoot, spine deformities, arthritis of the joints, and many more. This patient was presented with a very complex spine deformity with severely restricted lung disease which would definitely affect her quality of life and may also shorten her life. Focus came to her aid and gave her a new lease of life. When I was 15 years old, I noticed a slight curve in my waistline. My mom also noticed a slight curvature in my spine and I was very much concerned because I was a young girl growing up and I was really concerned about my looks and my figure. We had to go to various hospitals, consulted various physicians and I couldn't get any solution to it. At a point in time I was put in braces, plastic braces, which was really uncomfortable and very demeaning for me. I couldn't walk among my colleagues because I felt intimidated carrying the polyvinyl plastic braces on my back. And someone told me about focus. One orthopedic surgeon advised that there's a doctor in town who could help. And I was directed to Dr. Ohiniba Bwachije. On the 1st of January 2001, I was admitted into Kalipu Teaching Hospital in preparation towards my surgery. I met a very lovely nurse there. Her name was Betty. She gave me all the support I needed. I felt so comfortable. I knew I didn't have anything to fear at all because she was right by my side. Dr. Bwachi also gave me so much hope and I was so much willing to go for this process. I went in there and I didn't know what happened during the surgery, but what I do know was the next morning when I woke up, there was a lady standing next to me with a broad smile. I knew that all had gone well. And this older patient with disabling arthritis of the knee 
was also treated with complete replacement of both knee joints, thanks to our multinational volunteers. The FOCUS Education Mission took root in our partnership with the establishment of the GCPS in 2003 and the AAOS Educational Initiatives in Ghana over the years. We have completed several in-service training programs and seminars for the public, medical and paramedical professionals in Ghana. Clinical research is a major part of FOCUS program and has invested in appropriate infrastructure and personnel to gather clinical data for registries and prospective multi-center studies with other institutions in the United States. For the past three years, a West African orthopedic surgeon has been sponsored by FOCUS to attend the AAOS Orthopedic Learning Center program in the USA with very positive impressions. FOCUS has always recognized the importance of working together with the state and have been given audiences by the heads of state of Ghana during its mission trips to the country. This is going to create opportunities for people who want to stay at home and then use your facilities and your expertise to help the population. I hope that you are blazing a trail and that others will follow. We as a government will give you all the support that you need. But you know, it cannot be a one-way street. A medical profession should also bear with us and see that whatever resources that we put into this, we expect them to use their expertise to put them to good use. We have been very pleased to work with the government of Ghana and have received audiences from the presidents of the states and have uh, also had cooperation with them in terms of support of our facilities by the donation of a, or by the provision of a grant and also the uh, facility to be able to obtain our containers and clear our goods from the shores of the port of Ghana. And by this cooperative efforts, we've been able to bring in about 15 containers of equipment to the hospital, which has now been, which has been installed uh, to bring to fruition uh, the facility as a freestanding orthopedic institution to provide comprehensive, state-of-the-art orthopedic care. All appreciation and thanks go to the government of Ghana for this recognition and partnership to bring state-of-the-art orthopedic care to the population of Ghana and beyond her shores to other African countries. The uh, yeah. opportunities for them uh -huh. to, uh, yeah. So I think uh, we are blessed to have this facility yeah. right here and we will support it. Our partnership has also been welcomed by Cure International and we have joined forces together to identify and treat newborns with clubfoot deformities so they can grow, walk and run like their neighbors. Our accomplishments, our achievements have all been made possible by our generous donors and benefactors like yourself, our volunteers from all walks of the world who have traveled to Ghana to help us, our industry partners and patients who have also volunteered as uh, participants in this program. One other agency that have recognized this work is the Australian government. We hope other nations and foundations will join us in this philanthropic effort. 
we know the need for this work to continue on perpetuity. And four years ago, with your help, we embarked upon the construction of the Focus Orthopedic Hospital and Rehab Center. Today, we can proudly say that a heap of sand has blossomed into the multi-structure complex displayed in these images. Everything that has been done as one in, as in unity and hope that continuing we will work cooperatively to make our efforts bring to reality the dreams that people have had to have good quality life and orthopedic uh, health. Only a few weeks ago, Dr. Boache held a clinic and toured the facilities with one of Focus board members from the US, Mr. Jerry Callahan. Two years ago, I had been paralyzed for quite some time. Now, he developed so much calluses on his knees because he was crawling on the floor, dragging himself up for a couple of years. He had TB kyphosis. And then uh, we did a very, very complicated surgery by resecting the spine, taking the pressure from the spinal cord, and then stabilizing it. And now he's able to walk, uh, but he has some spasticity. But there's still the signs of uh, spinal cord uh, irritation. But, but now he controls his bowel, he controls his toilet, he controls his urine. So it was really, really to uh, change his life. The first phase of the transition has been completed with the relocation of the clinic. The second and most crucial phase is completing the organization and equipping the rest of the facilities to admit patients for surgery. You all have believed in our vision to make this dream come true and we see the light at the end of the tunnel. The new center, when completed and in full operation, will provide state-of-the-art orthopedic, radiologic and laboratory services to countless number of people afflicted with orthopedic conditions. Finally, FOCUS has relocated to our new facility at Pantan, the FOCUS Orthopedic Hospital and Rehabilitation Center. This completes our first phase of relocation. We have now moved in, administration is running at full capacity, radiological services are being provided, laboratory services are being provided, and patients are being seen in the outpatient facility. We have put smiles on the faces of many children and adults. We have made the crooked walk straight. Thanks to our volunteers and donors like yourselves. Together, we can make the world walk tall again. Thanks for joining Focus to celebrate its accomplishments and grateful patience. God bless you for caring and sharing.